I thought I had an interesting life. Until now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. been a problem circling this school for some time now, a debacle that has been tearing at the hands of the founding fathers and women that have raised this country, and that problem. We got some stuff to clear up. These guys are Eskimos, all right? They're Eskimos. Look at them, look how beautiful, look how adorable, cute. And they're not even called Eskimos, though. You know, what, you know what the word Eskimo means? It means snowshoe netter. And that's very offensive. It sounds offensive, too. Would you like to, I mean, snowshoe netter? Would you like to call your dearest friend saggy britches? Or bootstrapper? Or really tall guy who doesn't bathe very often? <laughs> I'm not a slush. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, right. these guys, they don't want to be called Eskimos. They want to be called Inu Inuits. Inuits. And they're Indians in the Alaskan wilderness in the north. Now, I've heard some rumors. Rumors going around Belmont. You know how Belmont rumors can be. Mm. That Eskimos are unhealthy. And all they eat is this, meat. Doesn't look that delectable, what, what they eat though. They eat fish, whales, walruses, and seals. Some only eat one of these all year round. So why don't they get scurvy or rickets? Well, they do. They eat it. They eat it, the entire thing. They eat the entire, <laughs> the entire <No>. animal. <laughs> Everything that's not made into a coat is ingested. So, but I mean, obviously you need nutrition, right? There's not fruits, veggies, and legumes up in the door here. Huh? So, you need stuff like uh, vitamin A. It's good for the eyes and the bones. And you can, and es Eskimos, or Inuits, get this all from just sculpin, arctic cod, and arctic char. It's a, those are types of fish. Hello. Uh, <laughs> vitamin D, calcium absorption. It's good for the liver. And you actually get vitamin D from the liver of seals and fish and stuff like that. But we get it from this, no. That's a sculpin. <laughs> that is a sculpin. That little guy gives you as much vitamin A as you could ever want. <laughs> you eat it. Vitamin D, cal calcium absorption. But we just get vitamin D from sunlight. We absorb it through our skin. Pretty cool. Now there's a study done by this guy named Bill Halmer Stephenson in New York. And he researched the Inuit diet by going six months by just eating nothing but meat, organ meats, and more meat, fatty, fatty meats. And he found that non-overcooked meats and fresh fish prevent scurvy. And the only reason is because we cook our meat so much that all the vitamin C that's in the meat is lost. So, yeah. Eskimos are so cool. <coughs> They have 50 words for snow. And they build these things. Anyone know what that is? Big blue. Big blue, yes. And why? Why did they build them? Yeah. Because they're warm. Yeah. Y'all know what happens when fire and ice meet? Well, fire can't control their emotions. And fire, obviously, has a bunch of dragons that fly around and kill a bunch of people. And ice, obviously, like, loves 
old ice that died a long time ago. It's warm because it's warm because the, the construction method that they use is packed snow, which is 95% air. And it's a good insulator because it's 95% air. The air itself can't move because the crystal lattice of the ice is keeping it all packed together. Pretty cool. And polar bears and grouse have done this for ages. They use packed snow and they just burrow in and then they, it protects them from the, uh, from the cold. Um, yeah, and igloos look like this. They don't look like that. They look like this. They don't look like that. They look like this. What's the difference? Other than the obvious cartoon. You know. <laughs> uh, there's not. Think about the height. It's lower down. It's it's more conical shape. I wish I could draw. So a shape like this, like this, like this. <laughs> Yeah. And there's a reason for that. It turns out this shape is called a catenary. And it's apparently the stablest structure, natural structure, in all, in all of the natural world. It's the same shape as the Golden Arch in, in Missouri. And two chains chain. <laughs> and they do this. They, they learn this shape without even knowing science, physics, or how to ref. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, Eskimos know how to live. Their sheer, sheer willpower is is so admirable. They hunt out of necessity, and they don't complain when they eat seal 24 hours a day. They build out of the only material they have a lot of, and they always have a furry companion by their side. Eskimos are so cool. <laughs> <laughs>